Namaste. Namaste. And I welcome you on this beautiful day to our Easy Does It practice. I'm so happy you've chosen to carve out a little bit of time to give yourself some tender loving care. And even though we do call this class Easy Does It, it doesn't mean that it's going to be particularly easy for you on this day. So have respect and honor for where you find yourself. And if anything bothers you, feels uncomfortable, if you're out of balance, please pause and then join us again when you're ready. Okay, so let's come into a comfortable seated position. Maybe that's on a chair today or against the wall. Like me, you may choose to sit up on a folded blanket or you could sit on a pillow or bolster. And legs don't have to be bent, they can be straight. Do place your hands on your legs with the palms down to give you a sense of stability and anchoring into the earth. Spine is long and tall. Eyes gently closed, draw your chin slightly back, and please let all your breath go. Taking a deep breath in through your nose, please exhale with ha. Ah. Again, deep, deep breath. Exhale, ha, chin toward your chest. Take your hands forward to the mat. Gently bend your elbows as you begin to melt forward into the earth, breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale and just move your head a little bit. Continue to breathe gently as you let the movement with your head get a little bit bigger. Don't go faster, but let the movement flow farther from side to side with each repetition. It's very soft movement. Feel like you're flowing through this cloud of energy that's supporting you. And this time go all the way over to one side and just kind of release down. Oh. And then when you're ready in slow motion, go across to the other side. Hanging out here. And finding your way back to center. Calming down, slowing down, let your breath go. Inhale and slowly roll up one bone at a time, walking your hands into your lap. And exhale. Placing your hands back on your legs with the palms down. Let the spine be long and tall, eyes closed, chin draw slightly back. And now begin to breathe consciously in and out through your nose. Bringing conscious attention into the breath is a beautiful gift of honor and recognition to the mystery the magnificence, the divinity of your breath pulsing through your whole body temple. And here in this space on this day, we honor our breath and that connection. And we begin to consciously allow every exhale to soothe us, to move out garbage, rubbish, dukkha that may be causing blockages in our life, whether it shows up as stress or tension, anxiety, maybe a little depression, feelings of lack, loss, loneliness, grief, illness, disease, whatever it is, start to just let all of that fall off of you creating more space for the goodness of every inhale to flow into you and through you. 
exhaling out and away anything that is not good breathing in goodness to all parts of who you are calming down slowing down you feel a deep sense of calm washing over you around you through you into you as your scalp releases You feel your forehead soften along with your eyes, cheekbones, jawbones, ears. Your nose is soft as is your mouth and chin. You release your neck, throat. You feel a deep wave of softness flowing through the spine from top to bottom shoulder blades, shoulders, collarbone, armpits, all soft. Deep surrender flows down through your arms, drenching your hands, fingers and thumbs. You relax your belly, your pelvis, your hips. Both of your legs are relaxed as are your knees, lower legs, ankles, and feet. Oh, calming down, slowing down. You're aware of gratitude filling your heart as you recognize how privileged you are just to be on your mat on this day to practice, open and ready to receive whatever comes with no preconceived notions as to what those benefits might be, yet completely committed to staying in the breath and letting the breath flow you up and into your edge, but never to pain as together we draw our hands into prayer pose. Thumbs touch the heart, fingers extend toward one another, and let us greet with namaste. Namaste. And welcome to you on this beautiful day. So let's begin. We're already in a nice seated position. So you can stay up on your blanket or bolster if you're sitting on one. And then go ahead and take your legs forward, bringing them to touch. And start to just wiggle your toes back and forth. And say hello to your beautiful toes, thanking them. They're responsible for your balance and helping you move through life. Even though they're very funny looking, we love and adore them and thank them so much. Now we're gonna include the whole foot. So flex your feet and then point the toes, flexing and pointing, and now start to feel more activity through your ankles. And maybe you can discern movement going up through your legs, through your knees, all the way up into the hips. And this is good because it's a reminder of how interconnected everything is. We can't throw anything away in our yoga practice. Let's make some circles in unison with our feet. Big circles, keep your whole body relaxed. So if it moves around a little, that's actually just fine. Let's pause and go the other way. Beautiful. Now shake your feet. And bounce your legs together. Now opposite. And pull your legs underneath you so you're up tall on your sit bones. No dropping through the low back. Rather, you're keeping the crown lifted as we take our arms up, make fists, and take your hands up and down. And now a little side to side. Circles in one direction. 
other direction. Good, deep breaths, extend the fingers out, flex your feet, raise your eyebrows, open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Exhale, point your toes, make fists, bring your chin down, grimace your face, eyes are closed tight. Inhale, open everything up. Exhale, close everything up. Relax your hands down, relax your legs and feet and drop your head. Make a couple little circles with your head. Oh, pause. Let's go the other way. Bring your head to center and make circles with your eyes. Let's go the other way. Stop at center and turn your head to the right. Now left, right, left, right, left, center, deep breath. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, drop them down with ha. Huh. Inhale, lifting them up, up, up. Exhale, dropping down, ha. Huh. Shoulders forward, up, back and down, coming forward, lifting up, go back and down, reverse, go back. Now up, forward and down and back. Up, forward and down, one shoulder up, now the other, come down and down, one shoulder forward, then the other, go back and back. Up, up, down, down, front, front, back, back, up, up, down, down, front, front, back, back, up, up, down, down, front, front, back, back, up, up, down, down, front, front, back, back. Good job. And let's bring our right leg in uh, all the way into the base of your body and drop the knee out to the side and just bounce your leg a little bit. Good. And then lift the knee up, foot is flat on the floor. Your extended leg is straight and strong with the big toe and knee facing up. Place your arm around your leg nicely and breathe the left arm out to the side, stretch. Exhale, now we're gonna bring the eye of the elbow to the shin, pull the leg in nicely. Now turn your pelvis to the right, belly button, solar plexus, take the right hand to the floor behind you. Turn your face as we breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, come back to the front and lift your leg up and we're going to bring the ankle onto the thigh and just notice how this feels. We're gonna be working on the hip a little. So we wanna start incrementally introducing the stretches. Depending on how stiff you are, we'll give you an indication of how far you can take this. So this might feel good here. If you wanna go further, just lift your foot up and bring the heel in close to the base of your body. Hold your foot with the left hand and take the right hand to your thigh and push away, lean away and look away. So we're not going backwards. We're going to the side and then looking away. So this is a side stretch and a little back bend. So you should feel it in your pelvis, your waist, your hip, your groin, breathing in and out. Come back to center. Take your hands around your leg. Breathe in and squeeze the leg in tight and bring your head down onto your leg. Breathe through here now as you start to give some deep appreciation to your right leg, your right hip, and relax as much as you possibly can while you continue to pull the leg in. And remember, this is your yoga. I'm not there to watch over you. If this hurts you, 
let go, don't do it so much. If it feels good, then keep snuggling the leg in close. Notice the head dropping down and that our extended leg and foot are not involved in this at all. We're just pulling the leg in. So now breathe in, exhale, and we're gonna drop the knee down, pushing down. Inhale, pulling up and in, squeezing, the head comes down. Exhale, push down. One more, breathing in, squeezing in, head is down. And exhale, push down. Good. Now lift the foot up and across and we're gonna take the extended leg and move it a little bit to the right so that the foot lines up with your heart center. Pull the heel so you can drop the top knee down on top of the bottom knee. And then you'll notice your body may be wanting to turn to the left a little. We don't want to do that. We want to turn the body straight ahead. So you may have to lift your sit bones up, pull the leg underneath you, stack your hips, your ribs, your shoulders. Then relax the extended leg and foot and bowing from the groin instead of from the belly because we don't want to drop down this way. We want to breathe the body forward, take your hands forward, drop your head down and relax your breath. Inhale, push all your breath out with uh, and just let the body melt here. Taking your time. Noticing you don't have to do anything here because the posture is so gorgeous that it does everything for us. All we need to do is relax. Neck soft, face soft, shoulders soft, spine soft, belly hanging out, hips and pelvis completely relaxed, knees, feet, Oh, now tuck your chin in and on your next inhale, roll up, coming on your fingertips, lift your belly, lift your heart, lift your gaze, looking at the space where the ceiling and wall meet and relax. Now we're going to take the right heel in the left hand, put your right hand on your calf and lift the leg up. And we're just going to move it up and down a little bit, just like it's our little baby, just so nice and kind. And then move side to side, opening up the hip. Remembering that the hips affect the knees, your digestion, your shoulders and your head. So we just are so appreciative of our hip work. Now, I know it's early in class, but we're gonna say hello to the hamstring. So take the right hand to the right heel and then the left hand positions itself to support you, but you're not gonna lean into the hand. It's just there to help you to keep from rolling. So take a hold of the heel and then just gently see if you can maybe bend and straighten the leg a few times. Don't overdo it. Cause again, we're just starting. As we warm up, the legs will open and stretch for us. This is just a greeting. Well, let's go side to side a little. Oh, good. And now bend your knee and take the arm up and around so we can tuck the heel behind the buttocks. Knee going straight to the side, turn your belly forward, hinging once again, bring the body down Take your hands forward and bow. Notice we're letting the leg be completely relaxed. Also, we want the neck, shoulders, and spine to be soft as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Pull your hands back. Flex your extended foot, straighten that leg, breathe in and roll up. Come up onto your fingertips, 
Take your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, relax your leg, reach back and take your foot all the way forward. Bounce your legs. Bounce them together. And now bring in the opposite leg. Flexing the extended foot, the leg is straight. Pull the leg in close with the left hand. Now breathe your right arm out to the side. Look at it. Exhale, wrap the arm around your leg, pulling in nice and close. Turn your pelvis, belly button, heart center, face. Slide your hand to the floor, looking over your shoulder as we breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, turn back to the front, lift your leg up and put it down on your thigh and just notice how this feels to you. This could be great, just leave it here. You wanna go deeper, pull the heel in close, then push the leg away, lean away, look away, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale, coming back to center. Take your hands under your leg and pull it nicely up and in, bringing your head down, squeezing in, give the great big heap and helping of gratitude to this beautiful leg and hip for everything it does as it carries you through your life. Relaxing, breathing. Inhale. Exhale, and let's push the leg down toward the earth. Oh. Hands underneath, breathe in and pull the leg up and in. Head down, squeezing in. Exhale, pushing down. Inhale, lifting up, squeezing in. Exhale, pushing down. And move your foot across, taking the right leg a little to the left. Make sure you're on your sit bones so there's no collapsing through the spine. And the extended toe is in line with your heart. Hold on to your left ankle and shimmy it back so that your knee can rest on top of the bottom knee. And then you turn the whole body forward, hinge from the groin, bringing your belly, solar plexus, heart down, hands down, head down, breathing in and out. Breathing in. And out, relax, feel the beauty of the pose, doing all the work as you just relax. Try to keep your monkey mind present. Don't let it wallow all around, projecting into the future. Just be here now. Exhale, inhale, roll up and take one hand under your calf, the other your heel, and let's just lift the leg up and down. Be mindful to not collapse the back. You wanna keep the crown lifting and now side to side a little bit. Just greeting this beautiful hip. So much thankfulness for it. And then holding the heel. Other hand supports you as we say hello to the hamstrings. No forcing, no demanding. Just let it be soft. Maybe go side to side a little bit. Beautiful. Bend your knee and put your foot down. Hand goes up and around and you tuck the heel into the buttocks. Knee going sideways finger on the belly button, turn your body forward. The whole extended leg and foot are soft now. 
as you recline down on the leg, moving the crown toward the big toe as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Now, flex the extended foot, spreading your toes, pull the muscles up against the bones in your leg. Breathe in and roll up. You're on your fingertips, lifting up, looking up at the sky. Exhale, release, reach back and take your foot, bringing it around, balance both knees and bring both legs in, drop the feet sideways, hold your, excuse me, drop your knees sideways, hold your toes, interlacing your fingers and just bounce gently, noticing how your legs feel. Oh. And then bringing your legs together, move the feet apart and drop the legs straight. Take your hands forward, feet are flexed, toes up, knees are facing up, and just walk your hands forward gently. Bring your belly forward, crown is lining up with your tailbone. Now this is gonna look different for all of us depending on how flexible and open we are. So maybe your knees will be more bent, maybe they're even straighter than mine. Maybe you can lay all the way down with your arms forward, or perhaps you have to be up like this. Please don't judge, just find your edge, that place that you can move your body to where you're pressing up against that place that's just before pain. We don't go into pain. If we do, we have to back off but also that edge might bring some fire into the posture, which is a really good thing because we're not blobs. We want to work the body. We want to make it stronger, more flexible, happier in every way. So we don't want to just come to our mat and hang out and be a blob. We want to be fully engaged with respect and honor. Now relax your breath, breathe in and lift your head and heart, moving your hands back on your fingertips, lift the heart, look up, stretch. Exhale, relax, take your hands under your knees and bring the legs in, crossing your ankles, pull your toes back and rock up onto your knees. And if you've been on a blanket, just move it off to the side. And we're gonna be in table pose for a moment, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and just move your hips side to side as we check in. And if your hips fall to your right, you're gonna look to your right. And if they fall left, look left. Good. Now we're gonna reverse that. So let's say that your hips go over to your right. I want you to bend your left elbow and look back at the left foot. Just pause here. Then when you're ready on an inhale, come back to starting. And on an exhale, you drop the other way, looking back at your foot. Relax. Inhale, center. Exhale, hips one way, look away, look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Coming back to center, breathe in, lift your heart, lift your head, look way up. Exhale, head down, spine lifts, tuck your forehead in toward the pubic bone. Inhale, rolling up, looking up, stretching. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, roll up and curl your toes under. Keep your heart and head lifted. And as you exhale, bring your hips to your heels, elbows to the floor, head down, stretching your feet as we breathe in and out. Inhale. 
exhale. Inhale, come into neutral and walk your knees toward your hands. Your toes are still curled under. Come on to your fingertips and roll back so you're on the balls of your feet. Inhale and lift your head up. Exhale, put your head down, put your heels down and lift your hips up. Now we're just starting so you don't have to straighten your legs all the way. You just want to get some good stretches. Now, if it's too much to come into a full squat, you just bend your knees as you can and look up. Exhale, head down, knees lift to the hips, lift to the sky. Breathing in, bend your knees, looking up, stretch. Exhale, head down, heels down, hips lift. Now bend your knees and relax your breath as you put your hands on your waist. Inhale, lift your head and heart, rise up. Exhale, hands on your thighs, close your eyes and just notice how you feel. Great. And now go ahead and open your eyes and we're going to turn to the side Go to the right side and I'm going to face forward so that you can see me and we're going to step our feet apart comfortably. Not too wide toes slightly in heels are out drop the tailbone put your hands on your thighs spread your toes breathe your arms out they're straight. Exhale lean over to your right as far as you can. Turn your left palm forward and look up at the thumb. Inhale, come back to starting. Exhale, lean as far as you can, touching your leg. Look up at your thumb. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch, look up. Inhale, center. Two more. Exhale, touch. Inhale, center. Last time, two breath hold. Exhale, touch, stay here. Breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, turn to the right, bend your left elbow, reach across touching your shin and look behind you. As you inhale, you drop down, take your arms out, chest lifts you all the way up to starting. Exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, drop down, arms out, lift up. Exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, down, arms out, lift up. Exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, down, arms out, lift up. Exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, down, arms out, lift up. Last time, exhale, twist, Touch, stay here, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, drop down, arms out, rise up. Exhale, hands down. Breathe the arms out. Exhale, tip to the left, touch your leg. Right arm straight up, look up at your thumb. Inhale, center. Exhale, tip, touch, look up. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch. Inhale, center. Exhale, touch. Inhale, center, last time, two breath hold. Exhale, touch, look up. 
breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist to the left. Left arm bends behind your back. Right hand touches the shin, the ankle, or the foot. Breathe your head down, take your arms out, lifting up, exhale, twist, touch, inhale, down, arms out, lift up, exhale, twist, touch, inhale, down, arms out, lift up, exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, down, arms out, lift up. Exhale, twist, touch. Inhale, down, arms out, lift up. Last time, twist, touch, stay here. Breathing in and out. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, arms down, out, lift up. Exhale, bend your knees, step your feet together and your hands. Close your eyes, notice how you feel. And open your eyes, bend your knees and you're either gonna step or jump, turning to the front. Good, and bringing your hands down by your sides. Breathe in and lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees and touch your hands to the floor. Inhale, rise up, hands to your shoulders to the sky, turn your palms. Exhale, bend your knees and touch the earth. Inhale, roll up, hands to your shoulders, to the sky, turn your palms, exhale, bow. Inhale, roll up to your shoulders, to the sky, turn your palms, exhale, bow. Inhale, shoulders, sky, turn your palms, exhale, put your hands on the floor and take your hands a little bit forward Take your feet a little bit back into a comfortable downward facing dog. Drop your head down. Now your heels don't have to be all the way on the floor, nor do your legs need to be straight. Just lift your hips up and pull them way back. Press your hands in the floor as though they're going to disappear. Use the hands to suction energy from the core of the earth all the way up into your body, flowing through your side bodies, lifting all the way into the sits bones as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Inhale, bring your knees down and <clears throat> point your toes. Bring your hips back and move your hips over to the side and turn your body to the side as well. And then you're gonna bring the shoulder down to the floor and I'm gonna turn and face you. So you can see we bring the shoulder down and then roll onto your back, lift your hips up and bring them to center, lengthening your spine, lengthening your neck. Bring your knees into your chest, interlace your fingers around your shins and rock a little bit side to side. Oh, good. Take your hands up to the sky and slice the hands between your legs, grabbing your big toes, knees and feet sideways, legs are bent and just rock a little bit more. Relaxing through the back of your body. Oh, good. Coming
coming to center, release your feet and bring the legs together, pointing your toes, place the feet on the floor, interlace your fingers around your belly, drop your legs sideways, soles of your feet touch. Relax your breath, keeping your fingers interlaced, breathe your hands just above your face and turn the palms up. Then bring your hands to the earth behind you, softening through the chest and shoulders. You can slide your hands apart now until your arms feel comfortable. You shouldn't have any strain in your shoulders or arms. They could be all the way down here if they need to be. While we want to open the chest and shoulders, we don't ever want to force anything. So just take your time, close your eyes and breathe. Now gently put your right foot flat on the floor, reach the right knee over to the left and turn your face to the right as together we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Looking up. Put your right foot flat on the floor and then drop the knee sideways. Now bring your left foot flat, bring the knee up and across and turn your face away from the knees as together we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Pause. Turning your face skyward. Inhale, the left knee in and now the right. Exhale, straighten your arms out to the side. Now interlace your fingers around your shins, elbows down, knees in. Lift your head up into your knees, make yourself tiny. Roll down and rock from side to side. Oh. Keep your knees in nice and close. Look to the left and bring your knees down to the floor on the left. Left hand on top of your right thigh. Right hand on your ribs. Turn your face away from your legs as together we breathe in. And out. Inhale, exhale, arms out, gazing skyward. Breathe the right knee into your chest, now the left. Look to the right, exhale, both knees over to the floor on the right. Right hand on the left leg. Open your chest, ribs and shoulders. Left hand on the left ribs, drop your head to the left as we breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. Rest. Release your arms out, look up. And breathe the left knee into your chest. Now the right, interlace your fingers around your shins, elbows down. Exhale, lift your head up, squeeze, make yourself small. Roll down and rock side to side, ironing out any kinks, tightness, discomfort in the back of this beautiful body temple of yours. Face soft, neck soft. And come to center, release your shins and put your feet down. Bring your arms down by your sides. Turn your palms up, softening through your shoulders. Wiggle your spine long, lift your head and pull it back so the neck is long. Drop through your shoulders and inhale. Exhale, drop one leg straight and then the other. 
Oh, just melting into the earth, into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Now, this should feel super comfortable, and if it doesn't, then you got to change positions. So that means that you could lay on your side, maybe your belly. You may wish to throw your legs up on the wall or onto a chair. You could also lay on your belly if that feels good. Just make sure that you're warm enough and you're supported so you can relax. And then once you're ready, please go ahead and close your eyes and let all your breath go. Taking a nice deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with ho. Again, deep, deep breath. And relax. Oh, calming down. Slowing down. Letting your whole body just melt into the earth. Feeling safe, comfortable, relaxed grateful for this tender loving care that you have received on this beautiful day. And now there's nothing left to be done. Ever so gently you feel your full attention being drawn deep into the very center of your heart where you become aware of the most profound state of peace. Peace. Peace.
of your breath flowing freely through your beautiful healthy body feeling calm balanced refreshed you follow your breath as it ignites movement in your fingers toes hands and feet. Tenderly, you move your head from side to side. Taking a deep breath, you stretch your whole body, bending your knees, rolling to the side where you linger. Joining me when you're ready in a comfortable seated position Hands on your legs, palms skyward, index fingers to the thumbs, tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Relax your scalp, forehead, jaw, neck, and throat. Release your shoulder blades, collarbone, armpits, and belly. Open your heart, both front and back, and please let all your breath go. When you're empty, breathing only through your nose, please inhale for one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, rest, one, two, three, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four, rest, one, two, Move into stillness. There is no help outside yourself. You are the creator of the universe. Like the silkworm, you have built a cocoon around yourself. Who will save you? Burst your own cocoon and come out as the beautiful butterfly, as the free soul. Then alone will you see truth. Swami Vivekananda. So as you prepare to move from your mat back out into the world at large on this beautiful day, do so with respect and honor for yourself and take courage to be all that you can be, staying in integrity with your highest nature Letting love be that essence that guides you in every breath. And I know through this ongoing practice, your life will be blessed. 
Hands in front of your heart, thumbs touch the heart, fingers extend toward one another, and let us share three ohms. Nice deep breath. Shanti, shanti, shanti. May peace be yours now and always. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please be well, be safe, be kind. Much love to you.